Action. Action. When the California Department of Social Services issued a suspension order to temporarily shut down Valley Springs Manor over a lengthy list of violations, there was a lapse in agency protocol that instructs its staff to ensure all of the residents are transitioned. Many of the elderly residents were left behind with nowhere to go. The staff left when they stopped getting paid, except for the cook, Maurice Roland, and Miguel Alvarez, the janitor. Maurice and Miguel had a conversation in the kitchen. Alvera said, if we left, they wouldn't have nobody. Their roles quickly transformed for the elderly residents who needed round the clock care. Maurice and Miguel cooked, cleaned and bathed the elderly, giving them their medications and helping them in and out of their beds and wheelchairs. Overwhelmed, Maurice and Miguel were in the, over their heads. With medication foul ups, and residents becoming ill, they called 911 several times over the course of several days before emergency responders finally evacuated the last of the residents by ambulance. In light of their heroics, the duo received an award from the American Veterans Association, a certificate of special recognition from Representative Eric Swalwell's office and a recommendation from the California legislator. Media attention led to strong interest in legislative reform. Governor Jerry Brown signed 10 bills to protect seniors in assisted living facilities. Sponsored by California Advocates for Nursing Home Reform, the reform bills that made up that make up the Residential Care for the Elderly Reform Act of 2014 focus on improving care, empowering residents, and providing new tools to ensure compliance with regulatory standards. Same. 